Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR and Tree Designers this is Chetan and in this tutorial we are going to do hard surface modeling practice to achieve certain result this kind of practice tutorials you will get every week on this youtube channel so you can improve your modeling skill so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and now let's get started to make this model just you need to add a cube and we will start with the cube then go to the front view and then move it along the z axis then go to the edit mode and turn on your x-ray mode and add loop cursor there then you need to select these words and move them along the z-axis first we will block out the basic form for the model and then we will start to work on it and just adjust the scale along the different axis just move this along the x-axis and move this along the z-axis for the good proportions and then you can scale it along the y-axis so s and then y and then scale it along the y-axis so you will get this kind of shape this is the basic shape for the model and we will create a design on it means we will do the experiment on it so just shift d to duplicate and scale it down a little bit and move it along the y-axis and this will be the boolean object okay so just we will create a little bit of design on it you can select these edges and you can add a bevel on these edges so just select these edges and add a bevel on these edges if we add a bevel in this way you can see we will get triangles at there so that's why i'm showing you if you add the bevels like this you will face little bit of difficulty while creating any kind of design that boolean so because there are few triangles and we don't want the triangles in our model so that's why we need to use the right method so you can see the topology is not good so just you need to select this edge loop or you can select these edges first and then that edge loop so just select these edges and then add a bevel on these edges like this and give the two segment bevel it is totally depend on the width of the bevel okay after adding the bevel you can start to work on it later on so just give the proper bevel with the right segment then you can select this edge loop just dissolve these triangles because we don't need those triangles so control x to dissolve those triangles and then select this edge loop and add a bevel on this particular edge okay so just select this face or edge loop and then add a bevel on it and give the proper segments for the bevel and then it's totally depend on the width of the bevel and you will get this kind of shape and then turn on that outer shape and this is the cutter and that is the so just fix them right at the right position because we want to create a boolean so just select these two um, objects and use the pull tool and just difference boolean operation okay you can adjust the size of your boolean by moving that cutter object just adjust its position and then apply that boolean modifier then you can delete this cutter object so you can see we got this kind of shape and now we need to create a right topology for this just select these words and merge them at the center and now we need to edit the topology here i want that inner part should be like a smoother and outer part should be like a harder so according to that you need to work on its topology so just add a loop cuts like this and if i add a loop cuts like this then i'm facing a little bit of difficulty because there is no connection so that's why you need to select this word right click and then connect vertex path you need to build a little bit of connection at there then you can add the loop cuts so you can turn on your x-ray mode and just adjust the right position for the words So just select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. Just create the right chord based topology and give on a one loop around that particular boolean 
So according to that you need to create a topology and according to that you need to add a loop cuts like this. And then select words, right click and then connect vertex path. And try to create that chord based topology. Okay, so you have created this right topology and then you need to add the loop cuts like this. Now you can see we are getting the proper loop around that particular boolean and that's the necessary thing. And now you need to create a right topology at here. So you can select these words and connect them. And make sure your topology should be like a chord based topology. Then select this edge loop and then add a bevel on this particular edge loop so you, we will get a little bit of decent look at there and then you need to add the loop cuts so just control R to add loop cuts and then press I for the insert operation Then you need to add the loop cuts like this and you can see we are, we are getting the right each loop add there and if I add the loop cuts like this I will get the harder edges then add a sub D modifier and then increase count ok now you can see we got the inner part which is right but we want to create the outer part should be like a hard so that's why we need to work on it and we don't want to destroy the inner part also so that's why the right topological method is important and we need to do something which will be topologically right and which will help us to get that outer part harder so that's why you need to select this face loop and use the extrude along the normal operation okay after that you need to select this edge loop and then scale them along the z axis along the x axis and along the y axis to make them flat so just select these words and scale them and give the value 0 ok for that particular axis so just select these words scale them along the z axis and give the value 0 now you need to select these words and here we need to change the transform orientation to the normal and do the same step so we need to do work here a little bit ok now just turn on your sub D modifier and see where you need to work on it, this particular model ok so I want to create the loop cut like this which will go like that so if I select the words right click and connect vertex path if I use I won't get the right loop cut at there so that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this and then select these words and then connect them select these words and then connect them and later on you can dissolve that loop cut select these words connect them and then select these words and then connect them ok now you can select that edge loop and de delete it we don't know, need that loop cut ok now we need to create here a little bit of one more time the right topology so if I dissolve these edges now you can see the topology and then add a loop cut like this And then you need to add a loop cut like this ok now just we want to create that square shape at there so that's the important thing because we don't want any kind of loop at there so that's why we need to cross over those edge loops then we will get that harder effect at some places ok same thing you need to do here just add a loop cuts and do the same
so we got a square at three particular face uh, places now we need to create the same kind of thing here so you can add loop cuts and you can work on it so if i add a loop cuts like this So you can use the knife tool here. So just use the knife tool and create a cut like this. Then select this word, right click and then connect vertex path. And same kind of thing you need to do here. So just use the knife tool. So add a loop cut like this and then select this word, right click and then connect vertex path. Okay, something like this we need to do. And if I turn on the subd modifier, you can see the result. Just one place to remain. So just do there and check all these things. Everywhere you are getting this cube or like a square structure. So just here is remain. So just add a loop cut like this. Then select this words, right click and then connect vertex path. And you need to do the same thing to the back side also. Then you can dissolve that center edge. And then you can turn on your subd modifier and now you can see we got the harder edges from the outer surface and smoother part is there in and easily we have created this kind of model with the right topological method so this type of experiment you need to do with your hard surface modeling so you can learn a lot more things and when we will do this kind of experiment you will start to find out the different ways to create to achieve any kind of design in the hard surface modeling so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care